Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today with my October favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a few months and I really don't have that many things this month either so it's been a little dry. I'm going to start with hair products. The first thing I have is the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump. I get it on Amazon. It's the cheapest place. It's even cheaper than Walmart and I love this stuff. I just spray it into my roots when my hair is wet and it really, if I blow the hair dryer on it, it really Gives me a lot of volume, so I love that. And then this got to be Fantastic Instant Collagen Infusion Thickening and Plumping Mousse. I get this at Walmart. This is really nice. Um, I have really fine hair, so I need all the help I can get. I really like this. I haven't been using that one that long. It's a newer favorite, but a favorite nonetheless. And then the Kiss My Face Tropical Coconut Moisturizer it smells so good and feels so nice. I really love this stuff. I only have like this much left. I've been using this for a few months now, probably since like July, but I can't remember if I put it in a favorites video, so I thought I'd add it in there. Next I have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I really like this foundation. I have it on today. I like how it looks on my face. The only problem with it is if I use it more than one day in a row, it breaks me out. So as much as I love it, I have to swipe it out with something else. I wish I could wear it every day because that would be my go-to foundation. It is fabulous. And I apply it with my Real Techniques makeup sponge, which I actually have found that I like more than the Beauty Blender. This is my old one and you can see the difference in, turn it this way. This one's still damp and this one is dry. This one's new and this one's old. So it gets bigger. And it just, it just makes your foundation look so nice. The next thing is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I had one of these before. I used most of the colors up. So I decided to repurchase when I was on vacation. I have this on my eyes. Today I have this color all over the lid. This on my brow bone and inner corner. And this color on my outer corner. And I just love this for fall. It's gorgeous. I have another eyeshadow um, in my little MAC palette here of eyeshadows that are not MAC. Well, two of them are. It's this eyeshadow right here. and I'm not sure how well it's going to focus, but it's called Voltage. It's one of those new duo crumbs by Makeup Geek. And I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick up on this. But this color is absolutely stunning. And if it's just something you want to put like even just in the center of your eyelid. It is so pretty. So pretty. And it almost has like a gold undertone to it. It's just stunning. I love it. Next I have this Pixie blush. And the color is subtle, Subtly Sun Touched. Um, I got this in an Ipsy bag and I have never worn it and I heard somebody talking about the pixie blushes one day on YouTube and I thought I'm gonna pull that out and it's it's just a really light um I don't know what's going on here <sighs> too much stuff to focus on it's just a really light bronzer but I like it for this time of year because I don't want to look like I'm pale so I don't want to look like I'm too bronzed and then the other um sample that I pulled out is from Laura Geller and this is called Tropic Hues. This was also in a Ipsy bag a while back and this is just a beautiful shade for fall. Um, really, really pretty. And it has almost like a sheen to it so you can actually just wear this and no highlighter. So I like that it's a one and done kind of thing. One more sample. This is the Put a Lid on an Eye Lid Primer by The Balm. This was also from an Ipsy bag. I've been doing really good with the Ipsy bags lately. Really like this um, eyeshadow primer. A mascara, the Super Sizer by CoverGirl. This is a really nice mascara. Um, the brush is different. It's kind of like flat. And then, I don't know. I don't even know how you would call that. It's flat and then it's not flat. It's bizarre, but I like it. 
it gives you a lot of length. Not so much volume, but a lot of length. Okay, non-favorites. Let's start with this gelato that is mounting on my <laughs> desk while I'm waiting to talk about it. This is so good. It's Talente Gelato Coffee Chocolate Chip. I got this at Walmart. Oh my god, I die when I eat it. I just, how can you just not eat the whole container? I don't know. But it looks like this. Oh, mm, I need a spoon. It is so good. I bought that whatever indulgences from, I think it might be Briars. That stuff is nasty. This is so good. It's too good. Like, it's dangerously divine. Next, I have this speaker. This is a Bluetooth speaker for like your tablet or your cell phone. Um, it's called D-Night. Here's the box. The Magic Box 2 Wireless Speaker by D-Night. I got it on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. It comes in different colors if you get the one, but if you get the two, it only comes in black. I got the two because it has a higher voltage. It might be like 10 volts, I think. This speaker's awesome. There's no tinny, tinny sound whenever you play it. It came with like a base pad that you can put under it so it even prevents more um, sound vibration, but you don't need it. Like, I never use it because you don't need it. It's, this sounds so good. I wish I could play it for you. Hear how loud it was? Wait, I'll turn it on again. It is a really, really good sounding speaker. Love that speaker. One of the best purchases I bought in a really long time. And last, I have two craft items. The first one is a Tim Holtz um, honeycomb stencil. This is really nice to put in your planner or your scrapbooking pages or whatever. I wish, oh wait, I have a black thing here. Let me, let me do this. Um, or anything like that. And you just rub your ink over it with an ink rubber. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and it looks really, really nice. And then finally, I got this box. I was looking for something to put some ephemera in. I have a, a lot of trouble storing ephemera. And I saw this at Walmart and I thought, well, it's only like five bucks. I'll give it a go. It looks like a little tackle box for fishing. And when you open it, it pulls out like a tackle box for fishing. And I have some ephemera here on the top. There's little compartments in underneath. And then on the bottom, I have these little photo boxes from Michaels. And I have bigger ephemera pieces in those. And I actually still have room for more stuff on this side. But another one of these won't fit over there. It's just a little too small. So I'm going to try that out for ephemera. See how it goes. So far, so good. All right, that is everything for my October favorites. Thanks for watching. Um, sorry, the last two months have been a little slow. I just haven't felt like filming. Like I wanted to film. Like I, I wanted to film. It wasn't that I didn't feel like filming. I was filming here and there. But honestly, it's October. And other than a couple drugstore replacement things like a foundation and a mascara, the only two makeup products I bought this year that were other than replacements was the Tarte Exposed Blush and the Tarte Showstopper Palette. Like, I haven't bought anything. And I think that was part of the problem. I didn't have anything to review. I didn't have anything to tell you about because I didn't really buy any makeup. I kind of was on like a, like a whole year or no buy. I don't know. I just, and then I was all stressed out this summer and a bit on my nails off and I'm just, you know, it was one of those years. Um, so I'm still gonna, you know, film videos or whatever and stuff, but I just didn't have any content to film about, uh, except planner things. I've been filming a little here and there on my planner stuff because I'm really into that and I've been into that all year. And I see in the future being into that even more because I'm switching a few things up for next year. Um, I haven't even really been to the Dollar Tree to do like Dollar Tree hauls. And that's just, I don't know, just wasn't feeling it. So kind of wanting to save money, I guess. 
That's the main reason. You know, you don't always have to buy the latest and greatest of everything, especially it's nice to buy new makeup products or whatever, but honestly, I am not buying anything anymore unless I look at it and say, I'm going to use 90% of what's in this, like a palette. I bought this palette from Tarte. I'm going on a little tangent here, but that's okay. And I knew when I looked at this palette that I'm going to use everything in here. And that's why I bought it. And honestly, I love it. <laughs> so it was money well spent. I need to learn how to do that. And I'm really working on that because I don't need a lot of stuff. I just need stuff that I'm going to use. And I think in 2016, I'm going to even focus more on that only buying things that I'm actually going to use because I buy stuff sometimes and I don't use it. And what a waste. That is a really sad waste. A waste of money, a waste of time. It's just a waste. So, yes, focusing on only buying things you need, not buying things just to buy them. All right, there was my little pep talk <laughs> for October. Well, November 1st today, but all right, thanks, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.